going on everybody? Justin here from Budget Barbecue. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. Today, I have kind of a special treat for you. This was a video I actually shot a while back when I was working for a little cafe here in the uh, new town where we live. Um, and the owner of the, of the cafe's mom is notorious in this area for her homemade from scratch pie crust. And everybody wants the recipe. And so one day when I was at, wor at work in the kitchen, her mom came in to do the pie crust. She comes in two or three times a week, makes these pie crusts from scratch. And so I had the privilege of being there one of these days when she came in to actually make the pie crust. And so that's what this video is going to be about. It's me and her kind of talking about it and where she got the recipe from. I was actually originally doing this video for my mom who uh, was here visiting and again wanted the recipe like everybody else. Um, and so this video was originally made for her so you'll hear some references to my mom um, in the video. But uh, I wanted to share this with all of you because not only is it a very simple recipe but just um, really goes to show the um, you know, I really enjoyed working for this cafe. Um, it's called the Amboy Cottage Cafe in Amboy, Minnesota. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed working there again because of just the the really high quality, fresh ingredients, everything made with true love from scratch. Um, and I think this video and um, hearing her mom tell these stories um, about how they got the recipe and as you watch her do it, um, it it's just a, a true work of love and art. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to the video. Um, please, again, before we get started, you know, please leave comments, like, subscribe, questions, comments. Um, I look forward to all of it. So uh, again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. All right, everyone, enjoy the video. Crust. She does do a lot of baking, yes. I'm gonna talk to her in my video here. So she mom, she's asking if you make pie crust at home. And when we were little, she used to make cinnamon and sugar pie crust. My middle brother, that was one of his favorite holiday treats, was she would make a really thin, crispy, you know, or crumbly pie crust and she would do butter, cinnamon, and sugar on it, and that was one of his favorite things. There's a customer here who keeps asking for that all the time. You haven't caved in yet, though. Well, yeah, if there's some leftover pie crust. Oh, John. But usually, usually Lisa doesn't make it up. We used to, and I remember that one time when Lisa was out, Stacy made a, this, uh, kind of a... You were saying before that parchment is better than wax paper. I prefer it. It lasts longer. Uh, wax paper is okay, but parchment comes in wider sheets, which if you've got a 10 inch pie crust, uh, your wax paper is not quite wide enough to accommodate that. But I like the, I like the, Parchment seems to work a little better. Comes off a little easier, firmer.
know, just when you need that extra little piece from the oh, counter. You know, or... After doing so many, you know, you. And how many did you say you've done roughly, you think? Probably about 9,000. 9,000. <laughs> yeah, you know, Lisa's been at this, what, 15 years now? So I, I started doing this when she started doing having a restaurant. You know the story of the, of the pie crust. It, it, I don't know that I've heard this whole story, no. Well, it was an old cook, cook wagon's recipe. I mean, a, a cook from a, a cook, um, you know, that went out with the cowboys. Uh, that was his his recipe, and we were visiting there with him. We were in Montana, and. Uh, he served us apple pie, absolutely the best apple pie and the best crust that we had ever eaten. So Lisa asked him for the recipe. So And he gave it up? He gave it up, yeah. Very, very kind old gentleman. Um, the curious thing was that he and uh, Lisa's grandfather shared exactly the same birthday. Oh, wow. And they became pen pals. And Lisa's granddad was a seminary professor. And here was this chuck wagon chef. And they exchanged Recipe. letters. Oh, okay. Letters. Not recipes, because grand, granddad did not cook. <laughs> but, uh, and this, this fellow that I'm talking about, whose recipe this was, came from, uh, came from Switzerland originally. Okay. Well, why he went out west, I don't, I don't know. But We're pretty glad he did, though. It was, yeah, he apparently liked it. He warned us about the rattlesnakes under, under the steps when we walked in the house. The rattlesnakes. <laughs>